A grieving Lexington mother is fighting for change in the way coroner's offices deliver death notifications. She says she was traumatized by how she learned of her son's death last year. Evening Edition's Kristen Edwards explains why this mother says it was so horrific and how legislation aims to change things. It happened on this porch, March 30th, 2021. A man from the coroner's office walked up to Stacy Burnett and handed her this note. It had her son's name and date of birth on it. Immediately, we just started asking, is he dead? Is he dead? Um, because it's a coroner. And he basically just said, I don't have any details. I don't know anything. She and her husband were told to call the sheriff in Utah, where her son Nathan was on a snowboarding trip. With no other information, she was terrified and confused. It threw us into shock immediately. I mean, I just started screaming on the front lawn. Soon after, her husband called the sheriff in Utah, and that's when they learned their 18-year-old son was dead. He had crashed into a tree while snowboarding. But he said he died instantly, and that... He doesn't think he suffered, um, but he even just hearing that made us feel so much better. She says he treated them with compassion and respect to make sure Kentucky coroners always do the same. A bill called Nathan's Law was introduced by State Senator Ralph Alvarado. Well, um, we think it's just good to start putting a focus back that you know, there's got to be a, a proper way to do this. If passed into law, Nathan's law would require death notifications to be given verbally, in person, and respectfully. It would require emergency medical assistance to be on standby. It would require another person to be there, like a second person from the coroner's office or a member of law enforcement. And it would require the coroner's office to follow up with a family member in 48 hours. Finally, it would require a four-hour grief training course. Hopefully, um, you know, in the future, future coroners will, will know the importance of you know, delivering a message the right way. And if other families can find out something so terrible in a better way and in, in a way that's not so cold and disrespectful to the life of the person that had passed away, I think I'm hoping that it would help them. The bill has been passed unanimously by the Senate. Next, it would need to be passed by the House. In Lexington, Kristen Edwards, Evening Edition.